All right. So welcome everyone to our second virtual con. Um, I'm glad everyone came back and wanted to come back after last year's. Uh, so to start out, I know there have already been some questions before we start recording here about uh, the giveaway. So there are the codes scattered throughout the Silver Fang Network websites and social media. So if you go and find those, um, you're then going to get like a little three digit, three letter code. Uh, and that's what you're going to use to enter the giveaway on the website. And uh, you do need to create a new entry for each individual code that you get. Um, so please put in the code, put in your um, email and uh, what prizes you want for each code. So if you can just duplicate whatever you've already put in. Uh, and then uh, you don't have to put your address in every time if you don't want to just put like already entered because um, that I can look up later. But for when we're doing the drawing live, it helps having all that, all the actual prize choice information ready. Uh, you so might I'm be gonna... able to autofill the um, the address so you don't that have to type is. it every time. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay if you've already done it. I, it, it makes it easier for me down the road. Uh, but if you want to skip the address part, you can. Um, I'm going to share our opening ceremonies code again in the chat. Uh, so at the beginning of each uh, panel, we're going to have a new code to enter as well. So just enter all the codes before we get to the end of the day today, our closing ceremonies. I'll sort of give a last call for entries. Uh, and then we'll do our drawing, uh, which I have some of the prizes here. Um, one of which is the Phanima Gray Gin. This was like one of their original ones that they put out. Uh, so he hasn't been available in like a year now. And then they're putting out more and more. Uh, so there's a newer, more blue version of him. Uh, but this is the original one that they made. And then we have this little gin charm. Uh, he's actually made to go on an umbrella. Uh, just so you mark which umbrella is yours. Uh, so he's he's pretty cute, just kind of an acrylic keychain type thing. Um, this one I'm leaving in the packaging because I figured I'm going to have to send it again. Um, so this has the uh, Manga Museum anniversary art for GNG and GBW on it. It's the, uh, the Striving for Justice art. Uh, and then the other prizes were donated by... Uh, some of our um, uh, members of the Silver Fang Network. Uh, so we have a GDW Genga, which is some of the animation art. It's donated by Woolbird. Uh, if you don't have it ready to show, that's fine. Or anything ready I'm to actually show. Um, unpacking it so people oh, can see it. got it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, and then uh, the other prize that we have is a set of fan art keychains by Libra Kind. Uh, so they will be sending those out to whoever wins. Um, and then we also have just our little con merch, art also by Wolford. Um, so we have a shirt. Uh, we have a little holographic sticker. And then there's also a standy, which right now I have it uh, soaking in the sun because it's glow in the dark. So to be able to show you guys the glow, it's got to charge up a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, and it's got a really strong glow. Um, and those, the uh, our little con merch, uh, that helps sort of fund the shipping costs of the prizes and uh, some of our regular just day-to-day, -day, uh, just like web hosting, things like that. Uh, so we don't actually make pretty much anything out of it. Most of the funding for the Silver Fighting Network is out of my own pocket. So if you want to buy some of that stuff, it's appreciated. Um, 
that is available in the artist alley, which we will show later. And uh, yeah, that the con merch items are only available till uh, March 1st, where then we're gonna actually order everything that was pre-order only. And I've got the Genga right here. Oh, yeah. If it'll not be, <laughs> it wants to blur it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can still see a bit of it. Oh yeah, that yeah. that one shows up a bit better. There's all the whole set, and it's weed running, a little run cycle. Yeah, and that's such like one of the good animation episodes, yes. as we all know. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's an, and it's like good movement. I actually have um, scanned this one and animated it. So this one is already scanned and animated if you want to see that too and then whoever gets this can frame it or do whatever they want <laughs> yeah <laughs> perfect uh so yeah I guess if anyone wants to really introduce themselves I mean I guess I never really introduce myself um so I'm regnant I run the silver fang network um been a ginga fan since say it was like 20, 2011, 2012 was when I really got into it. Um, and then I made Ginga merch because I wanted to keep track of all of the different types of plushies and figures because there wasn't really a good list of like, oh, all the different colors and all the different variations. And then it just sort of exploded. <laughs> and uh yeah, so I've been holding like a bunch of fun events for people who also love Ginga and just still giving this little dog anime some love. <laughs> um, if I may, uh, I yeah. was about to ask that uh, where, who was regnant in the uh, like in this yes. uh, hall. <laughs> that is me. Um, I'm just on the Silver Fang Network zoom account uh when i'm like stationary at my computer and then i'll switch over to like my regnant zoom account <laughs> when i'm uh maybe showing off a uh, merch and stuff later uh during one of the other panels okay so yeah if anyone else wants to talk about this themselves also no um no pressure to turn on mic or camera uh just sort of whatever you feel comfortable with um, I can introduce myself. Yeah. Nice. Uh, hi, my name's Micah. Um, I got into Ginja probably around oof, roughly like 2014, 2015. I watched it. I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. And then I kind of dropped it. But in the past recent like three years, I've been getting back really into it. Um, and I've met a ton of like awesome people from this fandom. Honestly, it's been really great. Everyone's been super nice. And it's really nice to be able to talk to people about, what, you know, like what's coming next for, um, you know, especially the manga, especially for now. It's just a really nice community. And I have my bias. <laughs> so, yeah. That's me. Uh, that's my guess. <laughs> Gin hat. I love it. <laughs> I love these hats. I was like, right when I saw that come out by Phantom, I was like, I need this. <laughs> yeah, I w I'm same. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes my roommate pokes fun at me for wearing it, and I'm like, it's my dog, it's my dog anime hat. It's your dog <laughs> anime hat. Like, she's like, you wear that in public? And I'm like, yes. Yes. I do. Yeah, I should also <laughs> buy one. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I actually have that that same shirt, uh, Barry. Uh, and I wore it out one time. There, Someone's like, is that from a band? And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have that one, um, this one as a sticker on my yeah. laptop. Okay. Yeah, that shirt. Yeah, I got I've been that. told that this is like, is this from a metal band? And I'm yeah. like, mm, <laughs> yeah. no, not quite. It's <laughs> it's complicated. I mean, if you take the songs from, from the stage band. play, maybe yeah. that counts. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
I don't know how many of you um, in uh, Finland were able to go see the the stage play, the, oh. the subtitled one in theaters. <laughs> uh, um, like the concert or what? I am. I am. I've. Uh, uh, they were they were showing it in like movie theaters or cinema uh, with subtitles, uh, and I was jealous. Yeah. I, I really love those stage plays. Uh, yeah, I, I want to like, see it. Uh, what year? I am. <laughs> I am not. Well, uh, it was I'm... just this last year, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty recent. Yeah, it, like it was last year, last year, and it was actually played in quite a few cities, and uh, it had a premiere. I was uh, traveling to this city called Bambere to see the premiere. And they were giving out these beautiful posters to all the visitors. And then I was lucky enough that the uh, Silver oh. Bang stage play also played in my city, where I'm from, Pori. And I was like watching it like four or even five times. So it was a great, I thought the stage play was amazing. And we were very lucky to have it in Finland. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that they're going to be doing the second part pretty soon right the second stage play hmm. no idea yeah, but I, I know that they announced that they were doing both i don't think there's a date yet for the second one. yeah on I, the wanna, thing. I know i want to <laughs> <laughs> grab the finished dvd because i know it also have uh, the scandinavian subtitles on it too so it's like my language <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to see the stage play, but honestly, I'm not fluent in any of the languages. So I would just have to sit there and be like, this is perfect. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but if you, was, I, I if, did buy the DVDs yeah. and honestly, you can pretty much figure out what's going on pretty well. Just it's, watching it's like it. Like, the same plot with some changes. Yeah, but yeah. very few changes. Right, right. And you can just enjoy, you know, these guys with ears and tails just somersaulting across <laughs> the stage. Uh, um, to the uh, the people ha that have uh, been here uh, in this fandom for long enough, uh, did anyone you go see the um, uh, the live concert for the Silver Fang? Mm -hmm. Like was it like 2012 in, uh, in Finland? Yes. Was it in Helsinki? Yes. No, uh I know I also oh, that the uh, 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 con, I think it was AnimeCon, uh, mm -hmm. they did it. So I, I was uh, when Takahashi visited. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I know that yeah, okay. um, I was copying over all the old uh, Ginga Guardian uh, over on Ginga board. So sort of archiving those from the old board. Uh, okay. And there were a couple of those, like, really cool, uh, like, write-ups about the con. I think one of them might have been by you. Yeah. You can maybe link to uh, that, because there were some pretty cool uh, articles in there about those events and related ones. It was amazing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think Miles had a clip of it uh, when he did Big in the North last year. Yeah. Uh, I think they taught that was one of the stage plays that they talked about. That was performed at the con. I think yeah. it had a clip or two of it from then too. Mm. Uh, so, um, there were. Mm. Uh, like I heard, uh, like when I like uh, uh, heard about this uh, show, I like Silver Fang and everything. Then I uh, I just swooped everything and uh, like everything on the internet, every single video I could find. <laughs> and, uh, I I I remember that I have ch had checked uh, the concert for it like back in like what 2016. And I for real thought that it was a, like a furry con for for uh, at first. 
<laughs> makes sense. Well, when all the characters are dogs, yeah. like when you cosplay, you kind of have to go dog. <laughs> yeah, you kind of do. Yeah. Or just like a kind of human version. <laughs> or just like bring dogs to the concert and let them howl. <laughs> <laughs> Just release dogs onto the stage. You want to go to a and play music? Oh god, that would that would be, that would be a funny thing hey, to see. Or, I'm down for that. <laughs> Maybe in a few years. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just really excited to kind of see what's going to happen today, especially because this is my first Thingacon, so... Well, we've only had one before this, so <laughs> <laughs> you're not too yeah. late to the day. Uh, a lot of it's just kind of, you know, just chatting. Um, we do have a game coming up next, Ooh. Uh, which should be fun. Uh, uh, should check those. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the panel I'm... schedule is on the website. So starting in about, uh, well, I probably should have uh, gone less time on this, but uh, I want to make sure that like mm -hmm. anyone who planned around certain panels is able to do it. So starting in about forty minutes, we'll do our little game. After that, we got. Uh, we can have people show off some of their merch since that is seems to be a pretty big part of the Ginga fandom where we have a ridiculous amount of merch and new merch still coming out all the time for this series. Oh, uh, we got treated to a lot of it this year. Yeah. And it's yeah. <laughs> to slow down fandom. Oh, sure. so My wallet I'm is literally... still in so much pain. I'm literally <laughs> going to go broke. So much in short time. <laughs> we were all like, oh my goodness, the keychains from Fandomo, that's awesome. And, and then, then all of a sudden, the plushie. It just. It falls. Keeps we going. got a hero. We got a hero. That's what I'm excited for. Yeah. It's yummy, like, too. I'm so just I waiting think... for like a Benny Zakara plush. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Or a curse yes. that yes. I can't afford. Yes. Somewhere. Benny. But we got Akakabuto. Finally, yeah, I, I am. I got that payment. About, as you know. it's it's going to... I definitely want to go buy one. <laughs> so big, I don't even know where I'm gonna put him. I Get saw that you can buy him like defluffed or whatever, like without the stuffing because it's so big to save on shipping. They had, yeah. they have that option rather. Which I'm curious That's about so the light too. I'm glad that yeah. we did not that too much expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I saw the price of it. Oh, that's gonna. That's gonna. I knew, I knew I was gonna get it right when I saw it. Cause I'm like, I hope the bears. How <laughs> much do the plushies like typically cost? Like, I've been struggling with the uh, overseas shipping. How much does it typically cost? So, um, the pure plastic ones, these guys are um, much easier because they're by uh, Urmi, um, and they do shipping internationally typically the shipping had well okay shipping prices have increased everywhere internationally yeah. so it's you're looking at like an additional like 30 to be even 40 dollars so i would like pack a few of these guys in one box um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just shove them all in together just as many as we can get yeah. and still have the same shipping it honestly would well. be worth it to buy two or three at a time just to save on shipping if there's more than one that you want. Just wait till yeah, you can get all some some yeah. people have done group orders too as well. Um yeah, we do I a got, lot of group orders through I got uh, my double purchase. of this guy on a group order because I wanted two of them because I want one that I can destroy by putting my face on him a little too much. <laughs> I mean that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's my little display one. He's one of like the slightly flawed um puppy gins and then i have another of the the nice ones up in uh yeah like yeah, with they're, they're, all the rest of my plushies this is the guy i will take to cons and put out on the yeah table. just like my i have my kagetora plushie that's been my mascot for over 12 years now <laughs> <laughs> it's like 
I want to have a new one to actually put on display. <laughs> <laughs> and the interesting possible. thing about this one is he actually came to me without spots. So I was like, I'll use oh, him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't have spots on his He has spots on his face, but he doesn't have spots on his chest. So I'm like, so I'll just... You got <laughs> Special! Kindle. If possible, could you send the link to the website? Because yeah. I'm struggling. Yeah, and to I'm find actually going to link you to um, our sort of merchandise resource. Uh, with Thank you so much. A bunch of different. So you can see this merch, We too. have a list of um, all of the merchandise that's available for the series. We maybe have a few that we're still working on adding. Um, nice. The only thing I have but, is from <laughs> Redbubble, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so some fan art, which is always good. We love fan yeah. art. Yeah. Um, fan art's also... Yeah. This page, actually, I can... Oh, I'll, I'll maybe uh, do oh, that during the actual large yeah. panel. Uh, but there's a list of different stores, and some of them have international written next to it, which means you don't need a proxy to order from them. Uh, but if you want to use a proxy, we have a list of Japanese proxies down below and a guide for uh, how to actually buy from Japan. Um, and if you're in our uh, Discord, uh, we can also help further there. Uh, Honestly, I don't. I don't have any King of Plushies. The only ones I have is my, is my Moonline one, and also this uh, <laughs> this one that I showed last year. It's my Fuga. <laughs> It's a Wire yeah. Republic plushie, but I name it Fuga. <laughs> <laughs> it works. The, the wolf arc was a thing, despite, you know, oh. Takashi trying to uh, say no. Get, uh, it's not canon. <laughs> I mean, why would you not want tornado wielding wolves to be canon? I mean, that's all like the armor. I, I love all the, <laughs> the dogs and wolves in armor. Like, this is why yeah. I'm naming yeah, this great. Booga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I gave you another son. It's a corgi flush I dubbed <laughs> this against other son. Because when they're sitting over here on this little uh, rack thing, it sits on Gin's back. I like they do in the mangas and stuff. So I've dubbed that his other adopted son, his little corgi son. I also just I love the huge uh, yes, Logan. Pink. <laughs> they so just cute. mentioned they... Pink Dragon, and I'm like, yes, yes. Pink yeah. Dragon is fabulous. He's an icon. Yes, right. absolutely. If the wolf in uh, the wolf arc actually gets some plushies. <laughs> That would be pretty crazy. Like any sort of merch, really, from Wolf Art. Yeah. Like they have, there's a little bit, but it's like obscured, like, oh, hey, here's them like swimming down to like one of the caves or something. I can't remember what part it was, but it's like, okay, that's technically from the Wolf Arc, but there are no wolves in the merch itself. <laughs> so you don't yeah. know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. See, I would be shocked if we got wolf, like, wolf merch before, like, moss or anything like that. I would oh, moss so much. Zakura. Yes. Yes. Zakura. I mean, my buff, my buff buff boys, because I mean, all the dogs in Ginga are buff, but, like, we need the, the buff, the buff, the, the, the super buff. 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 The <laughs> I'll even take Ben. Ben needs yes. more love. <laughs> Yes. The blind boy needs some love. He does. <laughs> I have. Uh, Give me wisdom. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, I was like uh, filling out the giveaway. Giveaway. What did I miss? Yeah, there are a lot of codes hidden around. So. Yeah, I think I have <laughs> I think I found like I most of them. I, I think I found like most of the of the the social media's ones because I have them written down. <laughs> Did you, you? Please keep I reminding me about the one. I only got eight so far, including the I one. I only found one. Please head about Let's see. Where's my list somewhere? The ones I could find, I, I only found like five of them at the most. <laughs> yeah, there are... Let's see. How many did I have? It's, it's definitely going to take a hot minute for me to like put all of them in into the Google Doc. Like the where the f 
Yeah, as long as um, you get it in before we get to our closing ceremonies, uh, you can enter it like any time. And there's going to be more posted. Yeah, so at the beginning of each panel, there will be a new giveaway code as well. Um, I can repost the one uh, for this one. I, I, mm. Oh my! So, um, all the social media is related to. Um, it's at the footer of the convention website, but then also uh, throughout uh, the Silver Fang Network. Um, but let's see. There's. There are 11 codes out throughout <laughs> different uh, media. No, one four. of which you can only get if you already signed up for our email list. Because um, that email already went out. So <laughs> 10, <laughs> I'd say, are easier to get. <laughs> uh, so yeah, each one of those is a new entry. So if you only want to enter once, that's fine. Um, it is still one prize per person. Um, but that just gets you more uh, chances to win any of our <laughs> bit of merch um, I have sitting over here. Uh, about the giveaway again, um, do I need to like uh, just put my name when I the display name when I like uh, do that? So the put display on, name is code. like a name that you want us to be able to like share publicly. Like on oh, the con right. website, we say, hey, these people won the giveaway. And, oh, wait, you wait. know, most people aren't going to want to use their, have their real name posted publicly. Oh, what? Um, so. <laughs> oh, we have my bottle the entire time. But for shipping, we do need your real name. Okay. Um, just because okay. that helps like the post office and whatnot. Yeah. If your package okay. gets held, you need to show your ID and yeah. it's like, oh, wait, your ID doesn't <laughs> say regnant on it. And you're like, yeah. Okay. 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 Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just asking, ask, asking this because I, one, I am dumb. Two, I've never, uh, ever been in a giveaway, uh, before. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, totally open to clarification, especially with any like language barriers. And thankfully, we have a bunch of people from all over that can maybe help there translate is. or explain things better. Um, Lucky. Did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Yes, yes, Barry, I am on like the Silver Fang Network account because this is the one that I paid for extra Zoom abilities on. <laughs> I'm, I'll get into my other uh, account once I log in on my phone um, when I'm showing stuff off. But mm. my little present uh, presenter account is. Silver fan. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I also want to um, just give like a general shout out for everyone that's done group orders. Yes. Because it's been like a lifesaver for me because then I don't have to spend like $60 on shipping. Especially with Japan shipping right now being so, yeah. so overpriced. <laughs> oh my god! I ordered, um, I ordered a few figurines, and like the shipping on Bai was like forty dollars, and I was like, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I was like "Oof!" At least yeah. the the exchange rate is a little bit better, so that kind of takes some of it. Where it's like, well, you're paying less for the item itself, but then shipping gets you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Because I don't, I think it was only like a little while ago. I think. Was it EMS that kind of upped their prices? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, now Even there's then ECMS, which is a bit cheaper. And it got oh, to me okay. still within, like, I want to say still only, like, took, like, two weeks to get to me, which was pretty good. Okay, cool, yeah. So ECMS has worked well for me. I'm not sure exactly where, um like that shipping is available though or right. if they're any like size or weight it's yeah easy. i know when i went to go order from japan on on from japan 
I went to go order te the Teshin keychain. The other ones, I, I forgot who they're behind, but someone had them behind them. Uh, but I went to go order him, and he was only like 15 it was, it was like $15, if I remember correctly. Like the plush itself, which was yeah, good. Yeah, like this big. And then, yeah, <laughs> and I was gonna, I had gone to the shipping, and then wouldn't give like a full estimate. I don't know if I was putting it in wrong or whatever, but I took the weight of the plush and just used Google to kind of get an estimate of how much the shipping would be. And the shipping was like 40 to $50 extra. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I don't know if that was Google just being Google and giving me a wrong thing, but I would not be surprised if that was actually the cost of it. Yeah, yeah sometimes to... like their automated stuff is a bit weird yeah. so it's like sometimes if it looks odd enough i'll just like message them and be like really like these are plushies you can smush them together as tight as you can mm -hmm. it's okay yeah <laughs> sometimes yeah, i was like um but... no go ahead <laughs> oh no i said sometimes like i'll look at the price for shipping and everything i'm like it's gonna hurt my wallet so bad uh. But yeah, I'll um, talk about um one of the other one of the group orders for some of uh, these plushies in the Discord. Um, the quote that they were given it was a massive group order. I'd say like we were expecting the shipping plushies. cost to be like yeah sixty of the plushies, so we were expecting the um, shipping cost to be you know a few hundred for sure for just the size of the box. Um, but they were quoted like, yeah, $1,200 for shipping. And we're like, wait a minute, Whoa. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Um, and so they end up being able to reach out to um, the proxy and was just like, hey, can you double check that this is right? Because there's no way that this costs this much. Like, we'd rather, it's cheaper to fly to Japan and pick these up than it is yeah. to ship them. <laughs> I was just oh. looking at the plushies, and I'm just like, God damn, I can't afford any of this. <laughs> yeah, and I know, like, sometimes they overpackage things. Like, I once ordered mm -hmm. a, um, this was a long time ago, it was like, one, just one GDW figure. <sighs> and it was cheap shipping because I got, like, surface mail, but, like, they sent it in a box, like, this big. And I'm like, there's no reason to send, like, something this small in a package this big, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got... Sorry. Oh. Sorry. I'm looking at uh, Curio Cryptic. Said so they're having an error when trying to view the con merch. Oh, is my oh. website having some problems? No. <laughs> uh, well, here, I'll it won't on. crash. Yep. We break it. Yeah, it took well, a while for me to, to get on um, so, uh, Zoom. As a backup, there is a... There's the Etsy. Shipping is a little bit cheaper if you go through. Uh, so I'm wearing, I'm wearing the com badges that... <laughs> wearing the com badges that I printed. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, some free merch. Um, and you can get last year's as well. Uh, so it makes it easy. Um, just, yeah, you imprint yourself a, a badge on our website. It's a fun little thing that I made. And just put down a name that you want to put on it. I just put mine, Ginga Soldier, on it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I love that horse painting behind you. I don't know oh, if it's a painting or a post or something, but I love that. That's cute. Um, mm. no, those those are those are just um frame pictures. So those are just frame pictures. So yeah. <laughs> oh, Let's I see. think it's um the uh, the sort of wallpaper <laughs> is what they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, your your little strip of, uh, along the wall. Of oh, the that's horses that's thing. just that's just yeah. wallpaper. That's wallpaper, just wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I true. had this. I, I had this for a long time. I had this wallpaper <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. And also, I love horses. 
Horses are one of my favorites. <laughs> I, I did horseback riding back in middle school. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. I even, I even took, like, uh, riding lessons back then. Mm. Oh, yeah. My family's, like, a lot of, like, rodeo people. So, yeah, I've been <laughs> around that kind of stuff. Yeah, and I worked with the horses uh, from 2009 to 2016. <laughs> mm -hmm. I used to work with horses at a large animal uh, veterinary clinic. Ooh. So it was it was really fun. I, they're great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they're just like overgrown dogs. Yep. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I remember or volunteering dogs are once. small horses. <laughs> <laughs> that can live in your house. <laughs> if you have a mini pony, it can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't your foot. I did a, a horse camp too as a as a kid. <laughs> I was part of Girl Scouts actually. <laughs> you don't really want them anymore. Okay. I feel so out of the picture. I'm the only one that's like, am I the only one that horses? I'm like iffy around horses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it definitely, like, if you don't know the horse, it can be very I've had unnerving. Like, they're, they're very big, and they're very sensitive to people's emotions, I've so. I've had yes. too many experiences where horses just and, randomly tried to bite me. I'm much ooh. more of a donkey or goat person. Yeah, donkeys are so cute. They are. <laughs> so many personality on the horses. <laughs> I just got, like, a goddamn flashback when you, uh, about these horses. I, that this was uh, a, a quite long time ago, but uh, like one of our family relatives uh, owns uh, two horses, uh, and she offered uh, to le uh, let us uh, ride the horses uh, for like an hour or so. Uh, well, I <laughs> I fell down of the horse. <laughs> It happens to the best of us. Falling off is always a bit scary. Stories. I definitely did that a few times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the I thing that makes of... it funny for me is that the horse didn't even care. It just went on. Like nothing happened. <laughs> it didn't even stop when it was told. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, by like, how old was I? I was like, probably like five or older a bit i just sat <laughs> sat there like crying uh when they realized that, uh, that the horse had came back without me <laughs> no, it, was, no. it was it was it was kind of <laughs> kind of um well you know not a thing you're supposed to like expect apparently i just fell down the horse i just <laughs> didn't it. I just didn't even remember that before this. <laughs> of just so yeah, thanks for the flashbacks. Just hit you <laughs> and you're just like, oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that in years. <laughs> I knew a bunch of horse girls in my high school and I was uh, tasked with drawing one of them as a model. And I'm like, uh, are there any stories that I could tell that you could tell me for the art? And she's like, yeah, I used to love horses. Until at one point, one of them bucked me off. And stomped on my head, and I'm oh, like, "Oh God!" Oh, oof! And I'm, I'm just like, "Oh well, I got a drawing idea." No, no I'm kidding. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I mean, I definitely Stomp. had like my foot stepped on a couple of times, but yeah. uh, I can relate. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I gotta Google something fast. Mm -hmm. So you said you said that uh, she got stomped on by the horse. Those were her words, and at first I'm like, "Wouldn't that kill you?" But I'm assuming it's like after it landed, it like kicked her away. I'm assuming because I'm like, she would definitely okay. be dead if it because put all that of its that weight. would make or more sense because no. the average horse weighs about four uh, four hundred and twenty kilograms. So I'm yeah. just assuming on the way down, and it when kicked like her. you're underneath a horse, like they might just kind of flail around and see yeah. a lot yeah. without actually being able to see where you are. <laughs> yeah. So I know you got your life on the side of the heads. Yeah. They can't just go down at you. 
I mean, I'm yeah, not trying I know. to question their trauma, but I'm like, wouldn't you be dead? <laughs> yeah. um, I know that one time when I, was, <laughs> when I was sitting at what home, the- uh, a horse back in, it reared up. I was like, are you going to hit me and I just move up, out of the way? <laughs> like, not today. <laughs> not today. My aunt also owns a farm and she has a really old mule named Zeb, who I adore, but she also has two horses, Shayna, and I forgot the other one's name, but the other one is a working uh, wild horse. So they're trying to tame her. And I remember when my aunt brought me into the pen so I could see the mule, I just see her in the corner just stomping and like stomping her foot and I'm like huh, I'm gonna go all the way over here instead yeah. <laughs> I, I want to like I, I like horses but I'm very much like okay before I actually get close I need to actually like know this horse I'll stay in a two mile perimeter <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I have respect for hmm. them <laughs> kind of funny that this is uh the uh this uh, con is uh, about uh, Silver Fang, but, but we are talking about horses. What is this sort of uh, yeah, yeah, would be my like, point. let's just talk. <laughs> let's see where the conversation goes, time. We yeah. got about uh, 10 minutes till we start our uh, name game. Ooh. Ooh. I have to be <laughs> just drawing so. here uh, uh, something that's popped up in, at my mind. Like anything I've done, I, I, I got bored. I I started drawing right now. I act, so, I have. I'm also drawing right now. A hey, I'm drawing fish. Yeah, same here. Uh, <laughs> I I I just. Uh, do you guys know the Mr. Beast meme that that's been wandering around the internet lately? Oh hell yeah! Uh, no? I just I just uh, drew weed. <laughs> Uh, just uh, in that pose, and it just reads, Mr. Wee. Mr. Wee. I am laughing my ass off. I'm just participating in a draw a fish every day of February, and I'm like, okay, time for the boop boop. <laughs> um, That's a fun drawing challenge. Just here, just d- draw fish. Mm-hmm. It is just one question why? <laughs> Why not? Because fish are cool. That's a valid a valid answer. <laughs> fish are one of the most diverse creatures on on the planet, so I kind of understand that. Is it like a different fish every day? Or yeah, there's like a prompt uh, where it's like, oh, you get a saltwater fish, or like a mandarin dragonet, or a regal angelfish, an oarfish, and my personal favorite, the koala cam. Oh, yes. That's a really good prompt. Fish. <laughs> I have, yeah, they were apparently chosen by Patreons, but right now I'm working on the boop boop. <laughs> I have a I have a coelacanth um, keychain on my backpack. I love him. I have a coelacanth sticker on my uh, tablet. Mm. I never know where to put my stickers. <laughs> I'm always afraid of putting my stickers on something because I'm like, what happens if I have to get rid of the thing or the stickers get ruined? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'll take the Finger. damn risk. It's like, oh, gotta replace you. I can clean it. If uh, That's why if you... I save them. That's why I save them. I don't like put them like on the there surface. Are... I just like save them. These new um, sticker books where you can actually then remove this sticker and it's still like khaki sticky Ooh. on it so they're like yeah i really need to get one of those i just have like a horde of like stickers. fan stuff and like fan art and stuff like that that i haven't put Literally anywhere have stickers i don't want anymore i just stick them on random places like oh there's my lamp smack <laughs> if you don't want to use them uh i actually made these the other day these aren't stickers these are i love how i'm holding it up to the one thing um these are magnets and it's literally just a piece of paper glued to car, uh, not cardboard, um, construction really? paper with a magnet on the back. Um, I was making my mom a birthday present. One of them was a Snoopy magnet. I didn't want to waste the lamination paper, so I made these. 
But I used to do this with stickers all the time, too. I would make them into little mini badges, or I would make them into magnets and stuff. That way they're kind of permanent. And uh, magnet tape, which is literally just a roll of magnet, of a magnet that you can cut up, it, they're pretty cheap. So that would be a good uh, idea for anyone who doesn't want to use actually use the sticker, but maybe wants to have a more um, more of a range to put it on places. I don't know if that would help anybody, but I'd love them, I would love if I could do that for, like my water bottle because like there's so <laughs> much space that's not used, and I'm scared to put stickers on it. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much the the most of the stickers I have are on a uh, a refillable like notebook that I have where you can put more pages in. So I can put stickers on the outside, and then hey, I always have a new notebook. Um, <laughs> there's just... some on my like iPad case, and then some I've actually turned into pins for in my Eda bags. Yeah, I found that once you. I have enough stickers you just stop caring and you just put them on everything because you yep. just have so many stickers and I'm like I'll just stick you just them keep on overlapping because... you're all on my laptop right now I think and I, I have, want to have, I have them on my laptop I have them on my Cintiq I have them on my water bottle got them on my iPad I'm like I, and I have so many <laughs> stickers just in my drawer I'm like they, I'm like I have, no, to have too many I, have I gotta put them somewhere <laughs> I remember I'm my sister too. got me a very cute uh weed sticker from Redbubble mm -hmm. and it is currently on my laptop mm -hmm. yeah those those uh like reusable sticker books are getting more and more popular and easier to find so I'm like I might need to get one of those and if you can't <laughs> if you can't find those um any kind of plastic sheet can work too but it has to be like um like lamination paper mm -hmm. i found actually works really well for uh keeping stickers kind of secure and since you can open the lamination paper you can actually put it in there too to kind of nice. help preserve it i used to do that a lot too before i started making them into magnets mm. i have a whole set over there by the way i'll show them off during the merch panel I need, really need, need to look at the schedule. Lynn, I'm, I'm kind of laughing <laughs> that you're surprised that your art is somewhere in the, you know, in someone's collection, in the Ginga fandom. <laughs> <laughs> like, of course, your stuff is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we all love your art. I have more of your art in my um, cart at the moment, Lan. Just FYI. One of my friends really loves printing stickers, so like she'll just like print stuff on her printer and like cut it out. So I have a little, <laughs> I have a little Teshin that she like to cut out. <laughs> I need to make one of Teshin. He's like my favorite character, and I don't have a magnet of him yet. Yeah. You guys, I need Some more pairs. <laughs> Yoshiro, sure the best. Just saying. I have one of him. Are here or not? I have. Yes. I have the art book saved on my computer, and that's where I got all these from. Uh, I keep trying to show it to the thing, but I'm showing it to the wrong camera. Um, but yeah, I have a whole set of them. They look thicker. It looks like a thicker stack than it is. But like I said, during the merch panel, I'll show this off a little bit more. Yeah. But yeah, yeah they're easy to they're easy to make. They're just a little bit more time consuming, especially if you want to get like a really clean cut on them. But if you have an exacto knife, that'd be better. Um, but yeah, they were fun to make though. And like I said, they're they're cheap and easy to do. Like even the printer is cheap. I'm so currently trying to get my hands on a cricket so I can just make them myself. Oh yeah, my roommate has one of those. Um, it's pretty fun. I used uh, I used it to make the sticker eyeballs for my three D prints. My three D printed. Oh yeah, <laughs> all the tiny little the tiny the little, little eyes. Because I'm like I can't I can't hand cut those. They're like too small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are so cute. When I got like the box, and I was like, oh my god, so little, <laughs> so tiny. 
But my stickers, I usually just, I usually just get the manufactured. My roommate actually does <laughs> all her stickers for her shop with her Cricut, but um, yeah, yeah, but they're, I, they're not, they're not like UV resistant when you do it in that way, unless you like get really expensive materials. Yeah, the nice paper. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for any stickers that I sell, I'm like, no, I'm ordering through someone else. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'll pay you for my time. Like, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't like well all the, all the time that my roommate spends like trying to like get the cricket to work. I'm like, no, I'm just gonna just gonna order. Yeah, I've seen so much <laughs> stuff about alignments being off, and I'm just like, yeah, not sure I want to deal with that. I'll have someone else do that. <laughs> <laughs> Regne, if I can ask, where do you get the um, con stickers from? Uh, those I went sticker. through um, sticker app. That's what I thought, because they're good quality, too. Yeah, the one, and, and the, the hollow is, like, is super nice. Um, yeah, the one of Gin is on the back of my laptop right now. Obviously, I can't show it, but yeah. it looks really nice. And this and one I asked for uh, I love the like quality of it. hollow on it. So only the moon and his little con badge are holographic. So you can like specify. That's cool. Exactly where you want the hollow. And you can see the moon, um, the moon detail through uh, the hollow as well. So it's only like 50%. Um, so yeah, they did really well. I like that. The Printing on the back. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Because we want to give credit back to Wolford, our amazing con artist. Uh, so made sure that that was included. <laughs> I got one of awesome. everything this year and I'm so excited. <laughs> I have yeah, no idea what show the uh, standing later. Uh, it's probably all charged up, but we're about to start our next panel. <laughs> 